This is about one heaping cup of black walnuts. You want to put them in a blender and uh, chop them up. Try to get it as fine as possible. When it's done, it should be about an eighth of a cup of pretty fine black walnut. Because black walnut has oils in it, it always wants to stick. You're going to end up with about an eighth of a cup by the time all is said and done. Three tablespoons of either maple syrup or blackstrap molasses is the next thing you need. I'm using blackstrap molasses. Maple syrup or blackstrap molasses is the next thing you need. I'm using blackstrap molasses. For this next one, all ice cream has some kind of fat in it. You can use either, and it's your choice, whatever you got, you can use one cup of heavy cream, you could use three ounces of cream cheese, three ounces of cottage cheese, or three tablespoons of butter. Any of those are all interchangeable. I'm going to use butter doesn't have to be exactly three tablespoons. I'm just using just a normal tablespoon instead of a measuring spoon. If you use butter or cream cheese, you want to make sure that it's softened. So I'm going to stick this in the microwave to melt, and then I'll bring you right back to add it to the bowl. This is my three tablespoons of melted butter. I'm actually going to use this hot butter to get some more of this blackstrap molasses out of this spoon. See that? Come out to just about three tablespoons, a little bit, a few drops left over. Perfect. I estimate pretty good, don't I? Next thing you're going to need is two and a half cups of milk. Now, I always use powdered milk, so basically, um, I'm going to use one cup of the actual dry milk powder and then two and a half cups of water. But you can use two and a half cups of vitamin D milk or soy milk or whatever kind of milk you prefer. This is my one cup of milk powder. followed by two and a half cups of water. The first two cups of water, I'm gonna use this water to get that blackstrap molasses off his spoon. Then I need another half cup. There's my other half cup. Next thing you're going to need is one cup of packed brown sugar. There's my one cup of packed brown sugar. Next thing you need is six ounces of evaporated milk. That is half of a can. Most of the time it comes in a 12 ounce can. This is about a half a can. I used six ounces in the last recipe I did. You need about a half a teaspoon of salt. I usually just pour it out into my hand. That's probably a little more than a half. I'm going with it. Then you need one large can 
a pumpkin pie filling or you can use fresh pumpkin pie filling this is 29 ounce can that's what i'm using it's what i got on hand Next thing you need is one tablespoon of vanilla extract. You could use a vanilla bean if you got it. Sometimes I go with a, just a little bit more, so I think I am going to go with just a little bit more. Never have too much vanilla. So I did about one and a half tablespoons. Then you need a half a cup of quick oatmeal. I'm using a one cup measuring cup, but it's about a half a cup, maybe a little bit more. Next is where we're gonna add our flavoring. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. I kinda like a heavy pumpkin pie spice flavor. So I'm gonna use one teaspoon, this is a half teaspoon measuring cup of cinnamon, so I'm going to take two of these. That is just plain cinnamon. Uh, one teaspoon. We are going to do the same thing with nutmeg and ginger. One teaspoon. Since this is a half a teaspoon measuring cup, I'm going to use two. There's a nutmeg. This is the ginger. Next thing you're going to do is get you a blender. I'm going to use an immersion blender. If you don't have an immersion blender you can just use a regular blender you want all of this mixed up really well <laughs> this looks pretty good so the next step depends on the type of ice cream maker you have if you have a churn style ice cream maker Follow the steps where you pour this into your bowl, get it churning, let it churn for about 20 minutes, then go ahead and finish it off in the freezer. I'm using a Ninja Creamy, so I'm going to pour this into the Ninja Creamy containers. Then stick them in the freezer for 24 hours. Fill it up to the fill line, about right there. Try not to let any drip on my counter because I make messes every time I cook, it seems like. There's one. I usually get about four pints out of this recipe. Two. The fourth one I'm probably going to have to use. Ah, nope. Nice thing is I can lick the bowl. So the next thing I'm going to do is take this in the freezer for 24 hours. Then I will bring you back when I do this 
make this in the Ninja Creamy and do the initial taste test. Getting ready to put this pumpkin pie ice cream in the Ninja Creamy. Do a taste test. I kind of cheated. I licked the bowl last night. I already know what it's going to taste like. Turn it on. Put it on ice cream. Now I really spent a whole lot of time on this recipe. If you look at other recipes, none of them have a lot of the ingredients that I put in mine. And that's because I, I tried some of those recipes. And they would have the pumpkin pie filling taste, but they didn't have the taste of crust. And that's kind of what makes my recipe different. Oh man, this is really so good. You have no idea. Now I would probably top this off with some homemade Cool Whip. You can make homemade Cool Whip by just taking heavy cream and whipping it. Keep whipping it with like a wire brush or if you got a mixer, use that. Whip it until it forms what's known as soft peaks. Then add, um, so let's say you do one cup of Cool Whip, whip it until it reaches soft peak stage. Then add about three tablespoons of vanilla extract to it and continue to whip it until it reaches a what they call a uh, hard ridge stage. And uh, then you got homemade Cool Whip. And it tastes way better than store-bought. Adding to this, because you know that's what I do. If you make this in the Ninja Creamy, you can do cinnamon graham crackers as a mix-in. And then you can top it with sweetened condensed milk, which actually tastes an awful lot like Cool Whip. Anyways, I'm going to take a graham cracker. I'm going to crush it up best I can. Kind of got this all set and tight on the thing here so you can see. My sister was here and did a bunch of cleaning and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and break this up into pieces. Just kind of add it to the top. Probably want to be good enough. Add the top back on it. Then we're going to put it back in here. Put it on mix in. And once that's done. I'm going to put, you could do Cool Whip. I mentioned this actually in the, the original video, but I'm trying something different, right? Go ahead and drizzle some sweetened condensed milk on top of it. what it looks like oh yeah definitely worth adding those but uh, this really tastes good you ought to try it let me know in the comments what you think about it and as always God bless you God bless your families God bless your homesteads don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button